Fellas, fellas, what's the deal? Back with another video on the single cab, you feel me? 5-3, you guys read the title, man. We're gonna get the TBSS manifold into the single cab, the 5-3, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. It has the sheet metal intake. I did have this TBSS manifold sitting from a previous project, so I was like, why not make another video getting this installed? So I know everyone was saying the TBSS is better than the sheet metal, vice versa, so. I don't know, man, we'll, we'll find out, I'll tell you guys the differences between the two. I have liked the sheet metal, it is a little loud, so we'll see how this one feels and I'll let y'all know. There it is though, we got our sheet metal one with the 102 throttle body. We're gonna go ahead and get that one out and then get this TBSS one set up into the 5.3. So we'll go ahead and get that going. So right now we just gotta get everything unplugged. Uh, gotta get the fuel wells off, manifold off, you guys know the deal. And then we'll start constructing the new, new. There we go, got a few things unbolted. Pretty simple, just getting everything unconnected, getting all the bolts out. Y'all know the deal, man. Pretty simple, just get your bolts out after disconnecting your fuel rail, your cables right here. That's pretty much it, man. Just get those bolts out and manifold comes out. There you go, just after that, comes on out. But one tip, fellas, this is for the E85, fellas. If anybody's running E85 with this manifold or if you plan on doing so. So basically, check it out, fellas. So if you're running E85 with one of these intake manifolds, you're definitely gonna wanna watch out for these gaskets. They definitely started melting already. So if you're gonna run this, definitely do upgraded gaskets or something else because check it. No good, no good. So that would have probably started leaking anytime soon. So good thing we're doing this. So now we're gonna get the uh, TBSS one in with the Pell Pros and then we should be good. And if we come back and look at the heads, you can actually see where the uh, gaskets were kind of starting to melt off. So definitely watch out for that fellas. So from what I've seen online, these fuel rails should just plug and play onto this TBSS manifold. So we're about to find out right now. So it does look like in order to make these fuel rails fit on the TBSS, you do have to make some slight modifications to the uh, the little bracket point right there. So I uh, shave it down a little bit just to have it sit well and flush. Other than that, that should be pretty much it. And real quick, fellas, for any of those who may be wondering, you know, how do we do a lot of our work? Um, if you don't want to go online, look up a bunch of forums and stuff, I definitely recommend e-manuals online. They've helped with many builds. They've helped with this build, um, whether it comes to specs, anything that you need, these manuals offer all types of resources and information. So I definitely recommend it. I'll have a link in my description along as with the uh, discount code. So go ahead and check that out. As for your map sensor, the original one from the truck is gonna be a little smaller. So you're either gonna have to upgrade um, to the TBSS one or just put a big oak ring um, on the old one. I don't have one, so we just put a bigger hose around it, made it a little thicker. Hopefully that gives it good enough seal and we should be good. And there we go. So that will be temporary. If it works well, might just keep it, but if not, definitely just get a new one later. So that's pretty much it for that putting our throttle body gasket and it, as far as for the throttle body we're gonna go ahead and go with a 92 millimeter um, I've heard a lot online that 92 is the best to go with this if you don't have the original one the best to go with is a 92 so we'll go ahead and put a 92 on it and we should be good so there you go that bolts right on up and as far as porting, I believe you can port it slightly just so you get that lip. There's like a tiny little lip on there, but it's nothing serious. Um, get the rest of the sensors on. Other sensors go here, here, and then that's pretty much it. Then we go ahead and get that in. All right, and there you have it. Got all our sensors on there. All we have left is getting our getting our gaskets on there. So we'll go ahead and put those on right now. And then go ahead and install, fellas. And that's pretty much it, man. Pretty simple process. 
And then we'll go ahead and of course show you guys how we route the hoses and all that. All right, and there you have it. Got everything on, gaskets, sensors, throttle body. Ready to install, fellas. All right, there we go. So that's how it sits. And if you guys have seen my other intake manifold video, all the other lines, hoses, pretty much gonna just connect where they're supposed to go. Map sensor, pretty simple. We're gonna use the same exact route for the uh, fuel rail, the feed to the regulator. So it's pretty much same thing. So now we'll go ahead and just torque down all the bolts, seven foot pounds if you're doing the job. And then we'll go ahead and get it started, fellas. Get a few revs, get a little dry POV, you feel me? Then that should be it, man. So we're hooking up the feed to the rail. That's gonna go all the way around to the other rail. And as far as your brake booster and then your uh, PVC valve, those go where they typically would go on a TBSS. So just hook them up, brake booster back there, TBSS right here up front, or uh, PVC, sorry. And then that's pretty much it, fellas. At the PCV right there, it goes down to the valve cover. Brake booster's gonna go back right there. Just gotta cut down, make it a little shorter. And we should be pretty much good. We're gonna do that map sensor last because we might have to make it longer since the map sensor is up front. All right, so there we go. Like I said, the map sensor pulled it out just a little bit and like that, it was able to reach. So that's pretty much it, fellas. Now, just hook up the intake and then start her up, man. Pretty simple, pretty simple process if you plan on doing this. All right, so to come to our findings, um, these uh, fuel rails did leak slightly, but after further research, the reason I had thought those were gonna work was because the ones I had seen online are slightly slanted from under to, um, to line up with the slant of LS intake manifolds, at least stock ones or truck ones. So what you need, see, so what I had seen online was these, very similar to those, but the difference is on these, on the ones I have right now, they're the bottom end for the uh, few, uh, for the injectors is flat. And if you look at these, you have a slant. So that is the only difference. So we'll just go ahead and switch those fuel rails and we should be good. So this is the kit we're going with right here. It's gonna be the slanted fuel rails, as you can see. I'll show you guys the differences between this one and the other one right now in a bit. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean by the differences. So check it out, this is the old one. See how it's flat, flush. Then for the truck, or at least for the TBSS manifold, you're gonna need the slanted one. That's pretty much it. That's the only difference. So to mount those, we're basically just getting some, some thin aluminum, making little brackets like that, just bending it. And then just slide it over on top, just like that. Pour our bolts, should be good to go. All right, fellas, there you go, there you have it. Got those little brackets on, nice and sturdy now. So, no leaks. Go ahead and get a start, fellas, with the new TBSS manifold. All right, but there you have it, got everything hooked up. So now, go ahead and get a cold start, fellas. See if there's any differences between the TBSS and the sheet metal intake, sound, exhaust, all that type of stuff. So the main thing is performance we'll see if there's any performance differences when i drive it so right now we'll just go ahead and get a start
have it. I will say one thing based off the uh, first initial start, the intake is definitely quieter on this one. It's still not as quiet as the stock one, but definitely is a little quieter than that sheet metal one, but it's not loud at all. Um, exhaust does sound maybe a little different. I feel like I'm getting a, a more, a little more chop out of this one. So I don't know if that could really affect that, but it sounds fire, fellas. I thought. And as far as how the uh, intake is set up, if you guys look at the video of installing the sheet metal one, it's pretty much the same setup. The only difference is, uh, I mean, really no, no difference is that it's just the map sensor, the uh, brake booster had their actual places to go. So it's pretty much the same setup. But if you guys really want more info on that, I did make a YouTube short. I'll probably post that right there so you can check it out. But there you have it, fellas. That's pretty much it. And for anybody that hasn't seen the work that we did on this Jeep, we did lift, rims. We're also doing a lot more shit, fellas. I'll put that video right here, what we did working on the Jeep. So what we'll do is give you a little preview of like the type of stuff that we'll be doing to the Jeep, lighting, bumpers, stuff like that. We'll be installing real quick these wheel lights on the jeep that i received from oxbeam if you guys need any type of lights any type of bars lighting headlights fog lights all types of rgb product so if you guys want to go ahead and check them out like i said in the description so real quick show you all the installation and then we'll get back to it fellas so you get your full kit here four ring lights um bluetooth module control pretty simple man So it's pretty simple to get these set up. You just bolt it up to the back of that uh, steel plate behind the rotor. Got two up top, one on the bottom, same in the front. That's pretty much it, just get it wired up. And that's pretty much it, fellas. Get some power to it, you're good to go. And for power, pretty much just wiring it up to the battery. And that's pretty much it, fellas, you're good to go, man. You got yourself some wheel lights. Let's go ahead and show you how they look. Don't fail, a little demonstration of those wheel lights. As you can see, got a lot of different color options. You're able to change it from your phone as well. This is kind of just a, uh, a setting where it just goes through all the different colors. So definitely, definitely recommend these, man. Dope as fuck. Check it out. All right, that's it for the Jeep. Back to the single cab. So we'll go ahead and test out that new manifold, see how it feels, get some clips, some rollers. Y'all know the deal, man.
all right but there you have it fellas that's gonna pretty much do it for the tbss intake you guys see it man it runs good runs clean no issues so if you're thinking about setting one up set it up just like that you should be good to go there you have it though man look at him boy looking rough looking dirty but anyways that's gonna pretty much do it guys you guys know the deal like comment and subscribe to the boy channel you guys know we got a lot of shit coming a lot more to this truck and other builds so stay tuned fellas i'll see y'all in the next video